No, but just, seriously, like, if you ever push me, I'll fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> it is Tuesday, May 16th, 2023, and you're listening to the Tuesday catch up. And it's just a couple of the fellas tonight. Nate hits music. Give me pictures of Spider Man. I don't know how to read at that point. Yeah. Not without beer. You got to come back with something. The sauce is the boss. <laughs> Put some fucking headphones in! You are listening to the Tuesday Catch-Up. Boys, boys, boys. Welcome into the Tuesday Catch-Up, everybody. We are Mattless tonight. He is in Dallas investigating what really happened to JFK. He's dead. Matt died. He, Matt's doing a reenactment of, uh, of the assassination, but he wanted to be JFK. <laughs> <laughs> Riding drop top, dude, in the winter. The boys. Um, sorry about the little ruffle there, everybody. Uh, fellas, how you feeling tonight? What's going on? Was that your studio wall falling? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this, dude. The studio, it's not about the quality of the studio. It's about the quality of the podcast. All right? True. Sorry, I'm taking so many shots at you tonight, Hayden. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I don't care, dude. Nothing matters anymore. No, I don't give a shit. It's fine, dude. You're about to want. Hey, guys, who's ready? I have my first Zin today. First, my first Invader Zin. I'm ready to look. What? Let's watch the world unravel around me over the next hour. <laughs> the next hour and change. Quick, somebody ask me how where I see myself in five years. Hayden, where do you see yourself in five? Dead. Years? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> you do have the headstone behind you. Uh, that's what yeah. I meant, dude. I'm keeping this up until until I can revive my ego. I've got to get, dude, in the words of, I've been listening to a lot of David Goggins. I've been listening to a lot of David Goggins. i got to get my soul back. i got to go back to Paradise Lane and get my soul back. i got to go back. Who's going to carry the boats? Who's going to carry the boats? Me. Who going My Here's the thing. When I listen to David Goggins, here's the problem. is He's like, yeah, my dad beat my ass. I'm like, my dad was actually pretty cool. Like, he wasn't exactly available, but he was cool. Like, he wasn't <laughs> <laughs> he was a bit of a drunk, but he didn't make me work at a skating rink. So, like, the Goggins story, really, I don't know how I get motivational juice from it because I'm like, a lot of people read that book and they're like, I could do anything. It's like, I don't know, dude. This guy did some pretty crazy shit, and he came from worse than any of us. Like, most of us came from loving, supporting homes, and that's why we're big bitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if my parents were shittier, I would would be a millionaire right now. (laughs) <laughs> kind of dude You're like i'm like my mom like every time like dude all, every comic's like yeah whenever i tell my mom i want to do comedy the first thing they said was don't my mom's like that's great you should go now you should move to chicago right now i'm like hey how about a little adversity you know my mm-hmm. dad my dad's like an agent he calls me he's like stop taking the bad gigs he's like you need to do better <laughs> gigs bigger theaters i'm like shut up fucking <laughs> dude <laughs> what is it what's a scooter brawn dude my dad's my dad's scooter brawn but he's but a different version. He just tells me I need to do better venues. Skeeter Braun. <laughs> He's fucking Skeeter Braun, dude. He's fucking, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you know what I mean? Um, yeah. I don't know. What's going on, fellas? How you feeling? Pretty horrible. I ate a whole bag of nerds rope clusters and now my head is killing me. Dude. Oh, it's gonna crash, dude. Mm-hmm. You just in that headache phase where your piss is going to be like orange. <laughs> I've been I've been drinking water, taking Advil. We'll see how it. It doesn't uh, it matter, dude. Out. It doesn't matter, dude. Gummy clusters are like it's like putting a sponge in water, dude. It just just fucking suggles it all up. I've eaten some hard candies and stuff like that before bed, and I wake up at two in the morning. And it's like I drank a fifth of vodka. I just piss. I piss golden, and I go back to sleep. And my eyes hurt. Oh, dude, do I have the business idea for you? Hit me, dude. Why not? Right now. No, I'm kidding. We'll do the business later, business okay. idea later, unless you really want to. I did, is it something you've already been thinking on? Oh, yeah. Oh, then save it, dude. I didn't know if you just came up with it. Any business ideas we come up with in the moment, pitch them out because we, that's how we foster ideas here. This is a writer. The writers might be on strike, but we're not, boys. We're making good, we're making good progress here. But we're I would team, say, what did you say, Harley? We're team AI. Yeah, dude, kind of. Have you seen some of the absolute dog shit Disney and Netflix are putting out? You're going to tell me maybe having a robot write it isn't going to be just as bad and it may be potentially better. Yeah. At least if AI writes it, dude, it might be unintentionally funny. You know what I mean? Like some of these horrible comedies and then you, AI might unintentionally stumble on something funny. You know what I mean? Right. Let's go right. back to fart and dick jokes. Let's quit it with the fucking – let's quit it with the – with oh man, I almost just went off the reservation there for a second. I almost just like 
take on the non-binary buffalo. Kind of, dude. Enough of the <laughs> she, they, whatever. So like, there's nothing funny in that. But you know what's funny is sometimes it's just a good old fart joke. There's a reason Jackass has made six movies. Because sometimes you just need to let go. And you just got to watch fucking idiots do idiot stuff. Mm-hmm. True. Did you hear there's a conspiracy about a Disney? Um, instead of, uh, apparently they just replaced all of their ginger characters with black characters. <laughs> And uh, oh, so they're, they're taking uh, <laughs> opportunities away from ginger actors. Is that like a written like in the live action roles too? I think so. I mean, it was like um, <laughs> Ariel. There's like three of them for sure. I can't really remember. That's I, a wild conspiracy. We probably thing. watched the same real Nate. There was like five or six characters. I feel like. Yeah. Like, oh shit! That was a redhead, and now it's fucking. <laughs> oh man, that's just wild. <laughs> Dude, they're yeah. gonna make Jimmy Neutron and Carl Weezer is gonna be a black dude. Oh, that would <laughs> that would be a fucking show. Yo, I Jimmy's watch. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, they made they already had like a token horny guy on that show. Whatever the fucking other one was, the kid with no chin, huh? Sheen, Sheen, Sheen yeah, Sheen. Sheen, something like that. Harley, now that you're back for the summer, it's time to get you a microphone. This is old. This is getting old for me. It's time for you to come up here. I'll pay your gas. You're going to come sit in the studio for the rest of summer. Oh, that's tough on Monday nights. Well, you know what else is tough is is having to go what? Because our audio cuts you out because you're on a phone. You know what phones get lower priority than the streaming boys, dude? Me and Nate, yeah. me and Nate, Nate, let's have a flawless conversation. Nate, what's going on, dude? Oh, nothing much. I'm just really oh. enjoying my crisp audio. Yeah, and nothing cuts you out. If I start talking, it doesn't cut you out. I still hear the full thought you were saying. But if Harley starts talking... It's nothing, dude. Yeah, let's try it out. Like, I talk, and then as soon as... And then you... everybody just starts walking over you, and now you're muted. It's, it's, <laughs> and dude, see? And, and I do that in conversation already, according to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, dude, I was I was at a work uh, cocktail hour, and somebody was saying... We were all like, oh, where's this guy we work with? Let's call him uh, Schmalix. We were like, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> somebody was like oh his uh wife is like you know uh having some health issues so he had to go home and i, I was already a couple of drinks deep and i went his way <laughs> no, only one person laughed really hard everybody else was like what the hell oh dude nothing worse at least you had an ally when sometimes yeah. when i'm in those like office mixer situations and i drop something funny I dropped a what the hell and a one to one with my boss, like a kind of like what the hell? And she was like, <laughs> she, she goes, "What did you just say to me?" Well, I'm nothing, <laughs> nothing. I love SEO and keywords are fun. Yeah, I think we should optimize more and potentially explore new opportunities to drive revenue growth. And she went, "That's what I thought you said." Yeah, exactly. She said, "That's right, little bitch." And she said, "Get back in your box, I'm, website boy." I'm open. I'm open to grabbing a mic because now I actually have good Wi-Fi for the summer. So I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, you're he's in back Bondi, in the cities, you? dude. He's back in the cities. Good the lord, how does it feel? It feels good. I I had a great day today. I, I'm enjoying being back. The hustle and bustle of the city is nice. Yeah, you dude. You called one. Harley. Called me. I'm having a shitty day, and Harley just called me to rub it. And he's like, "Yeah, I, I thought I had four hours of email work. Turns out it was 15 minutes. So I don't really know what to do today. I might just go plant some stuff in the yard." I'm like, "Shut <laughs> up." Fucking teachers, dude. You never work. You're all lazy. This is yeah. not. Uh, shout out to we got a few listeners in my family who are teachers, and uh, yeah, you got the easiest job in the world. <laughs> Three months of vacation, losers. Hey, are you listening to this at Tuesday at noon because you just woke up? Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. dude, I tried my mom's CPAP on this weekend. <laughs> I can't get one, boys. Yeah. I can't do it. You have to. It looks horrible. But apparently, dude, Nate, so I learned some things about CPAP this weekend, fellas. I learned yeah. some things. They're not called – it's not – well, okay, A, my mom's boyfriend proved my point about how not breathing at night makes you kind of a crazy person. He came out and he's talking to me and Harley and he goes, yeah, it turns out I was having a 32 and they're called episodes. They're not called stop breathing. It's called an episode where you, where you stop breathing, which is kind of a dope name for what you're having. Mm-hmm. but it, he literally like he told us four stories in one while also telling us about how he doesn't breathe right in his sleep and harley and i are just smirking at each other the whole time i'm like dude 
my theory on crazy old people not the reason they kind of lose their rockers is they've deprived their brains of oxygen he was making it happen he gave us an a, an itemized rundown of every animal he saw while hunting and let me tell you only one of them was the animal he was hunting he said, he said i saw a fox and two deer and a cardinal and three loons and a turkey and i was like that's so well, cool, dude. Let's let's just like spitball the number. So when you're sleeping, you're not supposed to have interrupted sleep. And if you do have it like four or five times a night, like even that, or like times an hour, right? Sure. If that that's like cause for concern or something to watch. If you're at like eleven times an hour, that's like clinically diagnosable. You should be on a CPAP. He's like, Yeah, I'm at like 32, 35. <laughs> It's, it's, he's stopping breathing dude, every that's two literally it's, no it's less than a minute dude if there's 60 minutes he's having 32 episodes that means every 40 or so seconds he's going <laughs> <laughs> he's doing less breathing than he is actual like he's doing can more be, breathing can i be frank i think lucy's been really sandbagging how bad my snoring is because she's like, it's horrible. And I went, not 32 episodes a night bad. Like, I don't have, like, that is, that is unbelievable. Like, there's a, he, that's, there's no way my snoring is that bad. Have you done one of those apps where you, where it records your sleeping? No, because every single one costs you money. I'm going to pay $3 what? for an app to record me sleep. I'm just going to use my voice memo and listen back to it at work. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, feed it to an AI and ask it how many times it goes off. Rhythm. Hey, chat, chat GPT, how, how many times did it sound like I was dying tonight? <laughs> Anna, and also, what are 10 good keywords for my job? Can you write me a promo email? <laughs> uh, Matt's, Matt's wife uh, did that, and the only, she, only thing she recorded was Matt farting at night. <laughs> you had two episodes. It's just Matt lifting a <laughs> leg. Just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. Matt. Oh, dude, oh, yeah. he, he's in a better place. If he wanted to defend himself, he'd be here. That's a great point. It's true. That's a great point. Dude, oh um, guys, can I tell you what I was thinking about about Mother's Day? There was a meme that struck me in my funny bones so hard. It's the Onion article that gets her post on Mother's Day every single year. It's mother who just got eaten out gets served breakfast in bed by children. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the onion- and it's a picture of like a mom with like slightly ruffled hair, like eating a tray of breakfast food. It could that is that not probably the most jarring physical experience ever to, to, to then have <laughs> six five year olds jump in your bed, and be like, "Mom," and they're serving you French toast and orange juice, and you just you and your husband was just down there going to work like a minute and a half ago. <laughs> I mean, what would be better than some cunnilingus and French toast? so there's yes but also just the whole like the the absolute genre switch of like yeah going straight from that to that like uh, zero to a hundred or hundred to zero real quick oh my god i mean i that's like an out-of-body experience you have to kind of put it in its own box at that point no pun intended but you have to be like that's <laughs> done and now i'm a mom again like you have to kind of do that i get it dude the genres dude sexy time genre switching is a hard it's a hard dance for everybody to do like it's I struggle with it. Fired skill for Cause sure. Because I live, I live in a real goofball household where we're kind of always in bit, and then all of a sudden I'll be like, I'm kind of fucking horny, you know what I mean? And you start trying to like, you start <laughs> trying to like maneuver your way in. And Lucy's like, it's so funny because you don't know how to do it. Like last night she called me out. She goes, "You just rub my back for a second, and you go, you wanna? <laughs> 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 you want to?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's actually kind of like my move. It's just." I just I go from a I go from a pat to a rub, dude. That's the that's, that's the big a, move, dude. That's like the friendly, silly frat bro version of like want to fuck. <laughs> yeah, but dude, it's my wife. If anything, I could just get on top of her and just start kissing. That's weird. That's dude. I here's the thing. I think there's a bell curve, right? When you guys first get together, you like you just go like rabbits. Like it's non. You're like every time yeah. you're like the kitchen, yes, the, the the couch, of course. And then as you get a little bit like you're deep in it, you're like it has become more of like a. Hey, are you even, do you want to tonight? Is that even a thing you want to do? And then a lot of times it's like, no, but sometimes it's like, yeah. And so then you're, the way of asking gets a little bit more casual too. Like That's I don't true. have to, I don't have to go like, dude, can you imagine if every single time I wanted to have sex with a married man, I had to kiss neck for like five minutes. Come married on, man. Dude. Oh, <laughs> as a married, not with a married man. I was like, what? 
Yeah, dude. Remember, like, when you first, <laughs> I gotta when kiss you're a married, dating, man, married man's neck every time no, I want to take my wife. The, and that's like it's Lucy. Bro- and I'm probably gonna get, I'm probably gonna get some flack for this. And so, shoot me, I don't care. Podcast is canceled next week anyway. But Matt, Matt, mute yourself. You're gonna shake a beverage. What are we doing here? This is not. You don't go to. You don't go to <laughs> Dallas and just become. I thought an idiot. Matt was dead. He, this is the ghost of oh, Matthew. Unfortunately, not. <laughs> no, I figured I'd, I'd shake up a liquid IV quick. Coy, smart man, dude. Please, and do it louder next time. On the, do it right into the phone. You got it. No, please don't. Our <laughs> listeners are gonna kill us, dude. <laughs> let me let me land the plane on this point. Otherwise, I'm gonna leave it at people think I don't have sex with my wife, and I gotta I gotta let them know I do. Okay? Humble brag. I, boy, do I. Go on. But I'm saying, when you're first in a relationship, the amount of courtship to get that sex is so high. You have to be like kissy kissy time on the neck. You gotta. It's a whole thing. And then once you get to a point, it's kind of like a hey. Are you into this? Because like we got, I hey, it is nine forty-five. Our bedtime is ten. Like we got, we got to kind of get the show on the road a little bit. But you do it in a sexy way. I would say make it sound very transactional. But uh, you know what I mean. Harley, you're glaring at me. What do you, what do you still? I'm not. I'm not glaring at you. You're you're exactly right. It's not. It's not business like, but it is a little more like streamlined as a process. It's about needs and wants at that point, dude. <laughs> dude. I also obviously I desire, but there's there's also some things where sometimes you just gotta sometimes you gotta jar one loose. You've had a long day. You both and also there's dude, when you start having to wrestle about who's do who's gonna be putting in the effort, that's a fun time. That's a real that's when you get this like the you know how to talk without we're using words, kind of eyebrows and just head nods and just, you just <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an I'm like a deaf usher, dude. I'm like <gasps> dude, over here. That's so odd. Oh, it is good audio. Hey, that's why we're on YouTube now. Subscribe to the Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com slash Tuesday Ketchup and uh, Tuesday, uh, YouTube.com slash you Tuesday Ketchup. You can watch Matt shake up his drinks. Yeah, it's, it's quality fun. audio. All right, it's well, also available for... on YouTube and not on Patreon. If you want to watch the preamble and postamble, that's on Patreon. If you want to just want to watch and the bonus, whole episode. And our two bonus episodes a month, those are on and, Patreon. And bonus episodes a month, you can watch Matt eat a bologna sandwich. Um, <laughs> no, Q4 that's not a – that's not a, all right, we need to delineate this live on the podcast. A bonus episode is we do the podcast just a whole nother 45 or 50 minutes after the episode. Matt making a bologna sandwich, that was bonus content, and I dropped the ball on that. And I'm, it is, but it is No, the ball's done. still rolling. It's, no, it's, it's almost report. done. I'm telling you, it's in post-production, dude. Have you not seen that? <laughs> that everyone's on strike. You haven't seen that? Let's have AI finish it. Sure. It's <laughs> actually been uh, rendering for the last uh, year and a half. You know the processing power it takes to release that much promo content? Mm-hmm. Listen to you two talk about a book. I mean, come on, fellas. That's all, the, my computer's that, dying, that, dude. That, that was just, awesome. Green lights. <laughs> that was that one got mixed reviews. Nate was about it. Harley, not a big McConaughey fan. No. He's he's a big fan of the uh the italics and the ellipses. Harley, you're like kind of like fringe gay books, dude. You kind of like you're like it's two friends and they 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 love each other so much, but it's kind of a vag ending. They don't. Earrings. Earrings. <laughs> you, you actually- vag indeed. But look at the earrings. What do you expect? <laughs> I just dude, you bring them up. dude. They're two friends and, and they're the both married stash. and they're and they're cowboys and they like to sometimes <laughs> go up to a mountain and camp together. But they're but it's kind of forbidden. But that you like to end the book before they actually do the gay thing. And one of them was also the Joker later because he got bullied because he was maybe gay. I don't know. Say it with me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Let's go ahead and right. cover our bases. Mm-hmm. But but mm-hmm. that is the kind of literary prowess Harley has. You you seem to think that, but you didn't finish the last book I gave you. I haven't. I'm trying, dude. Do you not know the the, the insanely busy life I live? I drove around with. I made Andre drive me around to Pier today so I could eat Jimmy John's and just rant out his window. <laughs> That's what a manager's for. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Harley just got attacked by a cat, dude. Harley's in new, <laughs> Harley's in new territory, dude. Yeah, dude, Harley. We just heard you get. You, know, you got one of those jowlers. <laughs> oh. He had the ears up. He was not pleased. Is there nothing scary when, when a cat gets those eyes? Like every once in a while, our cat gets that, and she kind of haunches back. And I'm like, if you fucking, if you attack me, like just know your food comes only from us. That's it. <laughs> there is no, we don't have no mice in here. There ain't no bugs. So if you you mess up, I'll starve you out a couple of days, dude. Mm-hmm. I don't do that though. That'd be kind of messed up. Yeah, wait, chum. I saw you were trying to register your cat as a service animal we are we're going through it dude that's what i'm trying to tell you well that's one of my wines is the apartment job i'll get to it but yeah we are we're trying to register boo as an emotional support animal 
Um, so I gotta, I gotta figure out how to really like fake it when it's time. Lucy's got an appointment to go in and kind of get the license. And I'm like, just be nervous. She's like, how do I do it? I'm like, just kind of be you, you know what I mean? Just be kind of, <laughs> just kind of, just tell them all the things you're worried about. And then Boo will be licensed to be a, an emotional support animal. Right? I went, I went through that process. All you got to do is have the paperwork and tell them they can fuck right off if they don't give you the apartment. Like you got, yeah. don't tell, don't tell them you have the cat until you have the apartment, like basically signed. Or like, oh, you're about to sign. You're like, oh, we have a service animal too. And then they, if they say no, then you can sue their ass. Yeah, but here's the thing, dude. This is why I've been arguing about this for a long time, dude. They're, all the slummy lords, they've all got a lawyer on retainer. So they know that the effort it would take for me, Joe Schmo, to go get a lawyer and fight it is so much less likely than them just being like, no. You know what I mean? It's like 50 grand if they, if they discriminate against you for your service animal. That's a good chunk of change. Why don't you just buy we someplace? could get a slightly nicer apartment? Because, Matt, dude, I have seen the episodes you've been going through for your last two houses. You think I want to get into that realm? The real estate mogul does not feel like a title I can hold. I, you've fallen downstairs, you put a nail through your hands, you ended up buying a truck. Like, you obviously, like, the houses weren't making money, so you're like, fuck it, buy a truck. Like, I don't think that. <laughs> I don't think me buying a house is going to be the decision that sends us into the, the next a- age of wealth. Also, and, and my response to you is, and? <laughs> also, I can't decide where we're going to live, dude. We've, we've been in Chicago, Milwaukee, and Appleton four times. We've, we've chosen those as the locations to move four times a piece, and we still don't know, dude. We move in July. I know, I know where you're going. Where? Milwaukee. I yeah, probably, probably, dude. We'll see. Uh- Everything's kind yeah, of you can there. you can go hang out with meatheads. Stop, dude! <laughs> hey, dude, I had to listen to this whole podcast last week and edit out so much unnecessary flack, and I was like, and I would be the only one who hears about it again. What I said like two, two weeks or twelve weeks ago. Every time you make fun of somebody, it comes. I'm the one who gets the text message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, other than that person, who's the last person who reached out to you? that we made fun of on here. I don't I try to block them out, dude. Whenever someone gives me negative feedback, I do one of two things. I take it extremely to heart or I delete them from my life completely. Or both. <laughs> yeah, name them. Uh when my dad said we swore too much, every time I say the F bomb on the podcast, I hear him in the back of my head. He goes, Once you say it too many times, it loses its power. I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job at the swearing. Even though I think I said the F word twice, that's abnormal. I yeah. think we've been doing pretty good on the. the swear. We've cleaned it up a little bit. We've I think you're up. right. We're a family friendly show, dude. And next we got next we got to become a healthy show. Next time we're gonna only start running five Ks, boys. Yeah, I think we should also change our name. Stop. You should, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Okay, not because I don't. Uh, content is dumb, but man, how funny would it be to film a five K of us four? Huh? That's just five. There's four different full full episodes going on. We could. Uh, have a, a point of view of each person like how they <laughs> i've got enough gopros to do it all Dude, fear cams right in our face. get the fear that cam going great. on all of us oh that would be fantastic yeah i said today actually i wrote down a note is that i want to do a 360 cam on deuce that'd be uh-huh. really nice dude kind of send them off i love those i love those videos where they do like rat like they set their dog up on a gopro and just let them go running mm-hmm. you kind of see what they get into dude dogs are kind of they're kind of wild boys they just do whatever they want they what god damn it dude you two with the phones this is the worst i mean nate what are we gonna do with these two i don't know matt's got sleep apnea on camera right now because he's laying down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, can we get you on your side or your stomach? We're going, yeah. Matt, lay, Matt, lay on your stomach and kick your legs up like you're uh, writing in a journal. <laughs> you got it. Sometimes I do that on purpose, naked after a shower, just to fuck with Lucy. She walks back and my bare ass is up, and I'm kicking and I'm swinging my legs as, <laughs> as I read Twitter. <laughs> Come on in. Um, the water's lovely. You're gonna love this. All right, let's do some wine or shine. What do we think, huh? Favorite it. segment. It is time to mine or shine. It's a segment where we whine about something we didn't like this week or in general, or we shine light on something we do. Uh, Matt, go first. Well, 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 you're going to make the the guy who came oh, in last go I bet. first. No, you, yeah, you, do you have something? Or something I do. Like I absolutely oh, do. Hell yeah, dude. All right. So I've been traveling a little bit lately. Mm-hmm. And... What I find interesting, same with Airbnbs, you know, doing vacations, 
Wi-Fi is not an an amenity anymore. That that is garbage. That is a a trash addition. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you are in the boonies. That is a wine. It has become, dude, every, I have, did we talk about this on the podcast where I said everything seems like it sucks lately? <laughs> like, like the service prices, every, their, everything's out of something. I, I have, I talked about this like two weeks ago. Wi-Fi is one of those things. You go to a hotel, they're like, yeah, for an extra $15 a night, we can get your Wi-Fi to your room. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Hotels got rid of Wi-Fi? Some did. Well, no, they'll give you premium. They'll give you like, you know, fiber for six ninety nine. Yeah. Otherwise you can otherwise you can sit there and watch your Netflix buffer, which sucks, dude. If you gotta if you gotta download some shit for a plane ride, but yeah. they, but you've, they, but you've got the... internet in the hotels if you don't upcharge. That's you what? Fun. They're like throttling the internet. It's just not good, dude. It's like airport Wi Fi. They're like, here's thirty megabytes per second, which Harley to you is some royalty shit. But when you come yeah. from our, the <laughs> land of the free, That's dude. Six times faster than that. <laughs> right, dude. Harley, oh man! That's so bad. <laughs> Harley asked me to come work remote from his house one time, and though I couldn't because other things wouldn't work out, I also didn't come because I couldn't work. Like I was like, dude, how do you get anything done here? <laughs> Harley makes email look like real mail. Like it's <laughs> once a day, someone delivers it. <laughs> Just a print off of his email, his, his Gmail account. Yeah, Matt also. Have you not seen the hotel breakfasts have gone so far downhill? Like seeing one with a waffle maker is like seeing a unicorn. True. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I have seen, uh, I've only seen one waffle maker in the last few days or a few uh, trips, but you know, I, I, even then I didn't hit it. I didn't trust it. No. Yeah. Cause it looks like wood glues all on the outside of it. Cause people, they don't clean it. Dude. Once they just burn. It's like, it's the residue of a thousand souls. A thousand waffle souls is burnt into the sides of those things. It's like locked and glued. It's like the, the thick gorilla glue where it looks like it's <laughs> foamy and kind of shit. Yep. Oh yeah. 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 But your choices are thin. It's like that or a yogurt parfait. And you're or like, well, I don't even know. Sales if cold. loops out of one of those glass dis- or plastic dispensers uh-huh. with sure. some milk. That's a little chunky. <laughs> Generally served by a toothless lady who has to have a conversation with you. Hey, watch yourself. I'm almost a silver member. That's all right. Dude, we were at a restaurant yesterday. This is off topic, but I do want to share this. We like there's a lot of crazy people getting hired as servers at places, especially in the Green Bay area. And we were eating at a restaurant yesterday, and these people were just having a like, dude, they were having it was two tables of like six or seven, and the table next to us is another table of seven, and they're having a conversation, nothing related to what this lady's about to say. But there's this crazy lady cleaning, and Lucy leans to me. She goes, That was my server last time. She was very scary and creepy. She's like, she was just like would hang around much after the awkward silence. Like, you know what I mean? Just very uncomfortable. This table is having a full-fledged private conversation. They're talking. And the lady just stands up and goes, yep, there's live music here at five, too. And, they're just, and then just stays in the pocket and stares at them. <laughs> and they were like, okay. <laughs> and then she left the room, comes back. We are in the middle of a conversation now. We're talking, I think we're talking something serious, not serious, but like we're into the conversation. She comes by and she goes, and happy Mother's Day to you, everybody. And then she turns to my baby nephew and goes, and thank you for being alive and making this a mom and points. And we're all like, what the fuck are you talking about, lady? Wow. <laughs> what That's tips. scary. And then she just stood there and we're all like, and I've never seen like Lucy's parents are fairly like they can at least like be friendly to that. You know what I mean? They can do it when none of us had anything to say. And I'm literally coloring with a crayon on a kid's menu and I'm laughing. I'm laughing out loud as I color. I'm like, oh my God, what a fucking duck, dude. (laughs) God damn. That's why I couldn't have been the guy on jury duty because I would have been laughing that whole time. Is that the show where they uh, like everybody's an actor but them? Yeah, one guy is not an actor and everybody else is actors and they're playing like pranks on them the whole time of just like ridiculous shit happening. Like, oh. um, I'm not going to spoil it, really. It's or, pretty or funny. Like that. But one guy like sneaks past the non-actor guy and goes, I'm going to go rub one out in the bathroom. And then he like falls over <laughs> and then at the, the, it's like kind of office style. So he knows he's being filmed for like a kind of like a documentary on like a jury. And everybody around him is giving like really heartfelt stories about the guy who like fell. He's like, yes, he made me like this, um, this 
little uh, crane out of origami and was like telling me like how great it is to have kids and all this shit. And they're also telling me super heartfelt stories and they go to the guy, <laughs> the non-actor. And they're like, so did you, uh, you know, talk to him at all? And they, they flash back to hit the guy walking past him. Like, I'm going to go roll him out in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Just has to lie on the spot. Yeah. Like, that's, that's like those shows. I remember that the, there was like the skit of they'd make people think they got like made disappear. Like the, ma- the magic guy, he would like, Everybody in the park would be in on it, so it'd be an entire park with <laughs> the people. He'd be like, "Can you see me?" And like, what starts as like this fun, innocent thing becomes like, so, like it always starts so innocently where they're like, they'll even go fuck with people, like kind of move a wine bottle here and there, and people are like, "Whoa, what's going on?" And the person who disappears <laughs> laughing, but then when they finally realize like no one can see them, they're like, "Oh God, no one, hello." <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw one of the internet like ones where they do it to a kid at home and then they take the fake picture where they're not where they have like the arm around and it's just nothing and she <laughs> freaked out. It was unbelievable. It was like just superb execution. Just, oh that is cool. <laughs> dude, to kids too, because they like for that first moment they think everything's hunky dory and then they they spiral real quick. When they realize oh, they yeah. can't get no kisses from mommy. <laughs> when they realize, like, if, especially if the parents commit, like, they're like, "Mom," and the mom just looks past them. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Braxton? Dude, giving your relatives the silent treatment, low key, is one of the best things in the entire world because it will wear on them. It's like that Drake and Josh episode. I did that to Harley a couple times growing up. Dude, it kind of works. Day two, they kind of start unraveling a little bit. They're like, "You're not gonna not talk to me forever, are you?" <laughs> like day one harley's like you're just a pussy you're like fucking just whatever dude whatever day two or three he's like trying to have a conversation with me and i'm just looking past him and he's like hayden come on <laughs> you you gotta fight how you can uh, mental yeah. Warfare, baby yeah um all right good shine good shine uh or good wine matt did we, did we come from wi-fi we haven't even moved on from you have we no all right sorry i have add today do you have anything else no, no, no apology needed. All right, my bad. Nate, you're up. I am shining. Shine. My shine is going to be hidden gems in Ooh. the city you've lived for a while. Ooh. Getting a recommendation or just stumbling across a hidden gem is <laughs> awesome. Always. We went to a place called the Baked Potato, and it's a jazz bar. That's super tiny, really homey, good drinks, and they only serve baked potatoes. <laughs> That's but it. The jazz was great. The live jazz was awesome. I had a buffalo chicken baked potato. That was awesome. And had a couple cocktails. And it was just a fantastic time. Apparently it's a like a, a staple in LA, like a, a historical spot for jazz <laughs> musicians. You know, how much say? is one of these taters? Uh like fifteen bucks. What? But it, it is pretty big and comes yeah, with you know cheese and happen. buffalo chicken and, and a salad and stuff like that. So this is a little something something in them, but you know yeah. that's kind of dude. Fifteen bucks for a tater. It could have been twenty two. <laughs> oh my god, dude! There's you know what they say. Nothing goes better with some smooth jazz like a baked potato. That's the, <laughs> they've always said that. I have a t-shirt potato. that says that. Yeah. <laughs> I love jazz and baked potatoes. So, something about a, a nice baked potato and some smooth jazz gets me in the mood. Potatoes are Irish aphrodisiac. That's it's a big... <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Harley, do you have anything to say? You've been stifling a lot, dude. I see you yawning over there. What are we, are we not no. doing it for you? I think I got cut out. I was I was saying you're paying for the music. You're paying paying for the musicians. True. <laughs> we had a good night of potatoes, fellas. Looks like you're getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of potatoes sold. Moved a sack of you, big boys. But I don't trust the the czar here because he took him a year and a half to get to Coop's Pizza. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and Coop's is all right. It's changed. Ah, oh. it's changed hands a lot. It's not the owners. They won't love it as much as they did. Yeah, I kind of get that. I do That's understand fair. that from a gem perspective. And they're not even going to have the fish tank anymore. What? That's bullshit. It, it cracked. They can't be fixed. So they oh. just... Safe light. We, we uh, some big fish. Nate, we found a gem this weekend as well. 
No, what? Hometown. Yeah, a Greek fine dining establishment that literally I thought for years was like a walk up counter for like junk food for after the bar. <laughs> it is like a five star dining experience in Appleton. Oh, I've been a, there. It's called a pollen. Yeah, I've been yeah. there. Yeah, dude, fire. I'm talking, dude, I'm talking three course meal. There's no course meals in Appleton. You have to go to like, you have to go to real fancy places to get someone who gives you a soup salad yeah. and your meal and like takes good care of you. Kind of takes the silverware out between dishes and mm -hmm. they did it. This Apollon place smacked hardcore and the food was delicious. Dude, it's crazy too because you go there and it's like it hasn't been updated since like 1992, <laughs> but then the food is phenomenal. Yeah, dude, the owner, the owner straight from Greece. He's dead now, but he was, but he was straight from Greece and he owned it for like 40 years and just, dude, it's nuts. You walk in off the street, you're expecting junk, dude. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, whatever, bad wreck. I knew, I knew I was going to hate it. And then I walk <laughs> in, I'm like, holy shit. Duh. Opa. <laughs> <laughs> you're expecting a gyro. I was, I was expecting it. And then I got a, then I got a mean ribeye cooked by the Greeks themselves. Them Greeks can cook, dude. Mm -hmm. They can. They, yeah. they run all the diners. Dude, they're a little heavy on the fucking like the tzatziki type flavor, though. Not everything needs to be like tangy, fermented, sour, creamy. Like that can stop, <laughs> dude. The Greeks, the Greeks are good at cooking lamb, and they make a mean tzatziki. But I don't need feta in everything I eat. I don't need limoncello or whatever it is. <laughs> I do. They served us a soup. It tasted like I was drinking wood cleaner. I was like, this sucks. But the salad was bomb. <laughs> I find a way to complain about everything, though. I, I don't want that to be very apparent. Like, it was an amazing three-course meal, but two-thirds of it sucked. <laughs> Big potatoes, too plain and too expensive. Rich, too, too rich, too tank. Harley, if you – Harley, hand to God, if someone tried to sell me a baked potato for $22, I'd shoot him in the head. I'd well, shut well, what, the fuck well, what up, if it dude? came with free jazz? Then I'd say, okay. <laughs> I'd, go, I'd go charge me for the – like it's like when you have to pay a cover at a strip club, but they give you a hot dog. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not here for the wieners, but, I'm, but I'll eat them. Like, I'll do – you, know you, you know what I mean. You know what I would say if they asked me that? I'd say, hold on, let me go grab my T-shirt. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> you don't have a T-shirt that says that. <laughs> not yet. Not, Not yet. yet, yeah. Dude, TJ Ketchup is getting into T-shirt merchandise. We should start making graphic tees. <laughs> my mom, my mom is the cool mom. <laughs> it's like wine, <laughs> it's like a video game controller. I I went to a jazz and baked potato place, and all I got was this T-shirt, jazz, and a baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> I did a sleep study and all I recorded was two of Matt's farts. <laughs> I sleep I uh, sleep like a Netflix show, 32 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We should come up with some good t-shirts. I like the we could come up with some great potato t Tony Starch, dude, and just have like a potato coming out of an Iron Man costume. I had I had a baseball shirt. Like a baseball jersey that it was for our um, for our softball team in college, and it literally on the front of it it just said baked potatoes, and every I, anytime I wore it out, I would get like fifteen compliments or like people would be like, "Where the hell did you get that? That's like the funniest t-shirt ever." I was like, "Ah, I just made it, man." <laughs> oh yeah, dude, you're the king of the t-shirt making. Uh -huh. I forget you. I forget you're a long line of a merchandisers, dude. Oh yeah, bestseller was uh, the one that was like the it. It was like just a plain shirt, and it said instead of the North Face on the chest, it said "Hey Fuck Face," and that was a big seller. <laughs> Such a Spencer's gift shirt. Hey, it's sold like, <laughs> yeah, like pancakes, like hotcakes, dude. No yeah. pancakes, not that. Gotcha, it's sold like a North Face shirt. Nice. Thank you. That, yeah, that was a good one, dude. Um. All right, let's go. Who are we next to? Nate, do you have anything else? No, just uh, jazz and potatoes. It's jazz and potatoes, dude. Harley, what do you got? Uh, mine is also hidden gem related. My shine this week is for secret menu items. Mm. Uh, stumbled across a secret menu item without even realizing it this uh, weekend. Sarah and I went to this amazing hidden gem pizza place in Shebagdad. Uh, called Il Retrievo. It's like this delicious, like in there. Oh, Matt, isn't that place fantastic? Phenomenal. Um, so good. And the secret menu item that was there was they we ordered pizza sauce, like red sauce, to dip the crust in. Oh man, they they brought it out 
and uh, they like roasted. They added roasted garlic to it, and they heated mm. it up for dipping. Oh man, it was so good. And then uh, I got like a cortado, which you don't see on most. Like they didn't have it on the menu, but they knew how to make it, so they it's were a like, cortado. "Oh, yeah. cortado is like it's two shots of espresso and just a little teensy bit of steamed milk. It's not like it's not a latte and it's not a cappuccino where it's all foam. It's just a little bit of milk, like almost equal parts espresso and milk. It's basically an espresso with hot cream. Yeah, essentially, but it's not cream. I just got it with, uh, I mean, oat milk. <laughs> hot cream in your mouth. Hot cream in I'm my sure mouth. That- Two guys, <laughs> two guys, two guys, and me. They're pushing. They're coming. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting fucked. Um. All right. Well, that's. Uh, look at us. Bunch, bunch of foodies today. We are the burly boys, kind of. Just taking it. Yeah. Well, or five high guys, or other podcasts. <laughs> <Burly>. <laughs> <laughs> Just four guys sitting around a virtual table. You guys just. You guys are doing a refeed. All right, I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> I can't it's help myself. It's it's all it is is in my head. I just I'm like, I'm like, dude, wouldn't it be fun if you just started talking some junk for fun? Like my brain all day long is like, make fun of somebody. <laughs> like, Bro, just let it out, chump. I yeah. can't. I can't. Dude, once you maybe on the Patreon. Let's have some fun. I think I know. think you in high school, Harley, would get along swimmingly. Oh, <laughs> dude. I would be I think dude, Harley, imagine 17 year old you meeting 28 year old me right now. I think I'd be your best buddy. I think we would we would just run the world. <laughs> yeah, I found the coolest fucking dude. He's got his own house in Green Bay. <laughs> he almost has a full sleeve tattoo. <laughs> I'm saying almost, dude. It's literally a full it's like, dude. Minus like half an inch of ink, it's done. I'm not gonna take any more feedback. I, it would look stupid if I connected him. Anybody who says otherwise is wrong. Anyways, I'm on line. We, we would make fun of people. It'd be good. Yeah, 100. 100. Um. All right, I've got a couple things for one. Number, one, but I'm not going to do them all. I do want to say this though: Wabino, Wisconsin, not my place. That's a big. That's a big wine. The further you go up north, dude, these communities are just so un unlivable. They're so not fun to be around or people in there. I was doing a show up there, and the headliner had been to jail, and he goes, "Who else here has been to jail?" And every single person in the bar besides me <laughs> raised their hand. <laughs> and dude, I he made one. I make some fun gay jokes during my set. And I'm like, yeah, he could spank me though. And I made that joke. It got nothing. I laughed and I went, I kind of figured that was going to happen. And they're like, you're not joking. I'm like, I'm not gay. Like I was having to convince like eight <laughs> drunk hicks that I wasn't gay in a fucking bar. I was so pissed. And um, they heckled the entire time. And then they bought a lot of my merch because I, I, I can't, I literally at one point I go, I can't tell if you guys hated me, love me, or just enjoyed fucking with me. But if you want to buy my merch, I'll be sitting over there. And they like they took good care of me, but fuck them still to death. They're like, <laughs> dude, just the bartender's like, I was watching comedy today, just getting prepped, and then she heckled the entire time. <laughs> dude, I think you just have to set a standard where if you are performing in a place and and someone goes, "Where's that?" That's yeah, a no go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you're exactly well, right. Well, Bino right. sounds made up. Like if you were to design your own Wisconsin Northern Hick Town. You'd call it Wabino. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're if you ask a little kid like where do you live? He's Wabino. Wabino. <laughs> I'm from kid, dude. They were all dude. There was eight people in the bar watching the show. Five of them were related. I shit you not. It was like the <laughs> owner, the owner's mom, the owner's husband, the owner's daughter, and the owner's other mom. <laughs> Insanity. Um, but my real wine. What do you guys want to hear? My take on male gynos or or scabbing on no mo may. No more May. Yeah, let's do no. Yeah, male gynos might be a Patreon. I got some thoughts, dude. Uh, but no more May. I scabbed on no more May, and I got absolutely reamed by my neighbors. They were fucking with me the whole time, dude. They're all, <laughs> dude. At one point, hit the, I have an eighty-five-year-old neighbor, like an eighty-some-year-old neighbor, and then a, like another older guy to my right. And at one point, I'm like almost done mowing, and they've heard my mower die five or six times trying to cut my foot and a half tall grass. <laughs> <laughs> and they stand there and they slow clap as I'm finishing mowing. <laughs> They're like, we were oh, wondering if you're ever going to do that. And they were just give me so much shit. And then he goes, you can come do my lawn too. And I'm like, I see your sign. You're doing no mow may. He's like, if I had your lawn, I would have cut it already. I was like, shut up, dude. <laughs> so I just got roasted by a bunch of old men after sweating and finishing doing my whole thing. What's and then no my- mow may? 
no more may is good for the bees around here you let your lawn grow out all may. you don't shave your pubes all of may it's good for the, it's good for mm-hmm. the bees no no more may is a you don't shave your you don't you don't mow your grass because <laughs> it's good damn it dude it's like no november for your lawn for your lawn it's to promote bee health and i can i tell you the saddest thing and other finished, pollen. whatever just... well, like what there's like i i thought it was bees well, flies can be pollinators. All, all sorts of bugs can be pollinators. I thought flies shit whenever they land. Yeah, Matt had the right idea, dude. Flies Who are useless. Flies, dude. There's <laughs> lots of different types of flies. I there's the there worst. Was, there's the big scary flies, which are horse flies, because they bite and they don't die. They're they're absolute, dude. Those are like the B-52 bombers of flies. Dude, mm-hmm. if you get bit by a horse fly, you kind of want to kill it. Like, you want to die so bad that first 10 seconds, because it bites you, you'll hit it. It'll fall to the ground, and then you'll just see it go like the Undertaker and just get up and fly away. You're like, what the hell's going on out here? Uh, so horse flies suck, but even the little ones are the house flies. Those are those are those are, those are, those are two flies. Those are not the pollinator flies. There's po- all right. Well, let's argue semantics of bugs on your podcast. All right. Um, <laughs> you make a t-shirt. Dude, but- I listened to the Tuesday catch up and all I learned about was two flies. <laughs> all I learned about was some flies don't poop, they pollinate. And I got this t-shirt too. Don't forget about that. <laughs> got- I'm going to tell Lucy every time I go poop now, I'm going to pollinate the bathroom. That's what I'm recording to Harley. <laughs> Dude, it is it is <laughs> a phenomenal exactly excuse though. What <laughs> What'd you say, Harley? Or I Matt? Said exactly what I said. <laughs> I said when you're pooping, you're basically pollinating. That's yeah, good. it's kind of what those flies are doing. Now, Matt, you said something as well. No, I've used I've used the no mo may as an excuse twice now because my grass got so long, and Anna's like, "Hey, are, are you gonna go cut the grass?" I'm like, it's no mo may. Yeah, no, let me tell you this, Matt. If you wait any longer, it's gonna suck. Uh, my I'll, lawnmower. When your lawnmower dies, dude, and at one point I ran over an ant hill. I ran over an anthill and I just kind of, I blitzed past it, but then the lawnmower died about five steps later and I'm mm-hmm. sitting there trying to get to restart and I keep feeling this weird tingling sensation. I had a hundred ants crawling up my right leg. I mean, dude, oh. I was like, ah, like, I was like sc- screaming and running in circles, just kicking my legs around, dude. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Yeah. I'm, uh, Matt, if you want, uh, I'm participating in no mo June and no mo July and no mo August as well. The bees. If you want to get in on that, you oh. have excuses. Also. I thought you were going to ask Matt if you could mow his lawn for money. Can I, yeah, I thought that's where it was going too, and I was going to say you're hired. Oh, um, okay. But as long yeah. as it comes with a t-shirt and a yard sign, I'm in. I okay. finally mowed my lawn, and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, I hate you for putting that in my brain. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> I did this podcast and all I got was a stupid t-shirt. Um, what I was going to say, Harley, about the no mow may is the saddest thing happened. I finished mowing the lawn and I'm sitting there on the porch admiring my work and I saw a bee like dead in the grass. Like it was like cr- it couldn't fly. It was just crawling on <laughs> a lump of the grass. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. I, I what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I yeah, scabbed I, on no mow may. took his little fingers and, and just finished it. And get this Dude, stupid t-shirt. I killed a bee and all I got was this stupid <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> I crossed the picket line. I crossed the writer's strike is in, in lawn. <laughs> and my grass is still long. It still looks like shit. Because my, my blade was so clumped that it looks it literally looks like when like a white trash mom cuts her kid's hair, where it's like a buzz <laughs> cut, but there's definitely lanes that are uncut still. <laughs> We've all seen kids like that, Harley. Don't clam up on me. <laughs> <laughs> that was like what I had one bad haircut. I'm not talking about you. I'm saying, dude, like, wow. <laughs> hey, mom. Sorry to, t- <laughs> sorry to tell you, but we're white trash. No, I mean, like, like you'd have kids who would come to school, and you're like, that buzz cut wasn't done at the barber shop. <laughs> like that was that was done with no attachments. Oh, someone, someone's mom made that Halloween costume in two seconds. Oh yes, yes, dude. We were big on kitchen cuts. You guys have big kitchen kitchen haircut family. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 100%. Our mom was good though. Your mom, dude, your mom could cut hair. Our mom could cut hair until we started to like be adult. Like, until we, I would say, until we hit puberty, our mom could cut a hair that was serviceable for school. But one time, dude, one time my mom self admittedly fucked my hair up so bad. She looked at me and she's like, You need to go get this to it. Like, you don't, like, go to the barbershop tomorrow. <laughs> she, dude, to bar- she retired immediately. She finished the cut. I looked in the mirror and she went, Here's $10. Go to the barbershop tomorrow. <laughs> I can't fucking well, do this anymore. 
it was great until you like wanted like okay give me the like the, the zero fade. to the to the four fade with like whatever and you're like i could do a buzz. You rock a fade in high school no Dude, now i do say, we all we all rock just long stupid hair we all yeah, yeah now we all rock fades literally every single one well i know most long- of us rock fades you did, yeah. You had you Harley. You were the only one who rocked the buzzy uh, back in the day. I see pictures of Harley all the time, dude. String bean cut off, <laughs> buzzed head, unit, <laughs> sloppy <laughs> steaks, <laughs> living for New Year's Eve. <laughs> I ordered a sloppy steak, and all I got was this T-shirt, a glass of water, and a steak. <laughs> 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 Not all episodes are going to be hitters, guys. <laughs> That's just how we have to that. <laughs> The numbers have been great lately. And said, dude, every Titan falls. We we had a thousand listens this month, and all I got was this stupid t shirt. <laughs> and a thousand listens. Dude, if we were smart, we'd come up with some merch that said this shit, but we won't. <laughs> no, we won't, dude. We have, that actually has to be one of our t-shirts, though. It's like, I don't yeah. think I was a stupid t-shirt. We got to release some merch soon for the for the team. Got to get them going again. Some hand out business cards. Thing. PK print today. You yeah. might, you finished it up. I cleaned it up real nice, so I, I can make some cards for the Patreon members. Yeah, do. we need a t-shirt too. Can you can you figure out how to do some screen printing this summer? I have screen printing ink for t-shirts. I just need to find the best way to get it onto cloth. He's he's just gonna find t-shirts. Harley's drawing on him with a marker. <laughs> I had screen printing technology. <laughs> I asked Harley to make this t-shirt, and all I got was this shitty t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, should we do the news? I feel like we did this out of order, but fucking why not, dude? Yeah. All right. News. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to the news. Uh, a bomb threat was made to Budweiser's Van Nuys factory over the support of... Nope, that's last month. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Nate, can you hit the music again, please? From the top. News. That's like one of those segments where the newscaster says something horrible and they cut back to the studio. They're like, we're so sorry you heard that. <laughs> uh, a guest who was stabbed outside a Seattle hotel says he didn't expect to get stabbed when a homeless man approached him with a knife. During the altercation, he was heard saying, what are you going to do, stab me? <laughs> in other news, the city of Pittsburgh is preparing for asylum seekers to arrive in the city. This is the most ethical way to kick people out of the country. Make them spend a few weeks in Pittsburgh and they'll go back home willingly. <laughs> a uh, Florida County Fair is in hot water when a nine-year-old girl didn't want her goat to be slaughtered. The county fair officials sent deputies after it. They turned around when they found out it was white. Oh, my God. <laughs> in other news a new statement was released by local pd stating that on saturday undercover cops posing as buyers arrested by undercover cops posing as dealers <laughs> when asked how something like this could happen the captain just congratulated his team for getting those drugs away from the youths and in the hands of our police force <laughs> in other news did what no yeah no they, them boys are cheaping in other news, hotel guest wakes up at night with hotel manager sucking on his toes. Unfortunately for the hotel guest, he learned that the hard way what happens when you order a large pizza with extra cheese for room service at the La Quinta Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Harley, did you send me your, your news? Nope. <laughs> fucking prompter. Let me, <laughs> fucking thing sucks. Are you sending it right now? No, I don't have it. Okay, and that. <laughs> news that's very good the homeless man sucking the toes or the night manager sucking the toes is maybe one of the craziest stories that's ever just gotten rubbed under the rug dude yeah Harley, did you that, hear about the story was... what uh no i heard about the nine-year-old's goat though that story is wild uh, i didn't hear but all right let's recap some of these in a second here but the the night manager dude this is a big story like last week that it kind of got glazed over real quick there was a guy who woke up at a hotel imagine this you're traveling for work matt's at his summit and Matt goes to sleep, and he wakes up tonight at like two in the morning. And the manager that checked him in is just sucking on his toes. <laughs> You're dreaming about do- he like do stop, deuce, deke, stop it, and you wake up and it's a grown man <laughs> suckling on your toesies. Oh my god, that'd be unreal. What would you do? 
Would you kick him in the face? You have yeah, to. Yeah, right? 100%. You got to go confrontational right away. Mm-hmm. And then you got to stand up right away. And then it's like that tense, awkward moment where you can like, the air is still and you're sitting there like kind of flexed up, ready to fight. And they're like, kind of that like hunched over. Like, dude, yeah. I imagine, I imagine a real I, Igor also, lit feeling. Up. Oh, they're brick hard, kind of hunched over. And they're like, <laughs> like, <"Can> I, <laughs> like nothing, man, nothing. And then you got to <laughs> kick them out of your room. Well, the the article had a a mug shot, so it definitely was like assault. Oh, he got his ass kicked. Well, no, I don't know about that, but it was like oh. that's like sexual assault oh. or something. Toe sucker, he got okay. arrested. Yeah, of course, dude. Of course, the toe sucker got arrested. Apparently, they apparently the guy got caught and he went all the way home to his home in Lebanon, Lebanon, uh, Indiana. Which shocker that this happened in Indiana, yeah. by the way. Um, but he went home. He's like, "Well, call it a day." <laughs> he just like goes and sits at home. And then the cops came and arrested him. But um, I have a conspiracy theory. Yeah, I think this dude wanted his toes sucked. I think the meetup went kind of haywire, and you know he was probably wasn't staying at a great hotel. No cameras. It's your word against the creepy night managers, dude. Mm-hmm. The night manager is probably just dyslexic, and he was supposed to go to, I don't know, like two three three, and he went to three two three or something like that. <laughs> the guy asked for his sheets untucked, and all he heard over the phone was, "I want my toes sucked." Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's what's the password to get in? Toe. <laughs> no, that's like you guys have all heard the rumors of like going through a drive through and saying like whatever, and you get a bag of drugs or whatever. Like that's literally what I was thinking. Like this guy greatly misunderstood the re- or the request. Yeah, yeah. The, the my, night, like he's checking into the hotel. The guy goes, "All right, uh, you a big fan of pizza?" And he's like, "Oh my god, I love pizza." Like, What's your favorite time? He's like, "Oh, big extra cheese guy." And the guy goes, "Okay." <laughs> and puts a little note in his notepad. <laughs> he's like, "Your room's yeah. on the left." Suck. And- this guy's a freak (laughs) he's got a little code book in his thing (laughs) if he says he likes olives he's just gonna go fuck him in the ass (laughs) harley are you on speaker is that why you've clammed up on me so hard i'm not on speaker i'm thinking of the the podesta emails with all the like hillary clinton and obama stuff about pizza (laughs) is it the pizzagate stuff yeah. Stuff, yeah. Any one thousand never... hot dogs at one a.m. delivered to my house. You should come over for some pizza. We they have great pizza. <laughs> Wait, what? That was like a, they actually exchanged emails like that. Oh, it was weird. Yeah, look into the PizzaGate stuff. I mean, I don't think they have underground pizza bunkers, but like, look at some <laughs> of the emails. They're fucking. Dude, weird. Listen, they had a whole island of pizza, Harley. I don't they know. Did. Let me let you know a little <laughs> secret, actually. <laughs> An underground bunker. They decided to take the pizza to the Caribbean. <laughs> why Why hide in the, the caves when you could be in the tropics? Jeffrey Epstein's, uh, I don't know. We'll figure out something, dude. <laughs> A pizza. Hey, pizza, pizza. Anyways. Um, all right, that was the news. Nate, give us a business idea, dude. Let's get to the Patreon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Sharks are in, Nate. Take it away. Hi, Sharks. Some of you might know me from my previous business ideas like whopoopedmypants.com, wepoopedyourpants.com, and Demon Taxi. Well, I'm here to pose a question. Please do. Groundbreaking. What's the worst part about being a man in today's climate? (sighs) How much time you got? (laughs) (laughs) A white man, nonetheless? No, any man. That's right, Harley. We can't have a Stanley. Women can walk around with their Stanleys, clunking everything in sight. But I'm here to bring you the manly Stanley. Mm. It's camo colored, but more importantly, it's a way for you to hydrate at night. Is this a water bottle? Yeah, uh, just a big water bottle that keeps your water cold. But the Manly Stanley has one thing the women's Stanley won't. A magnet that can get drilled into your headboard and a really long straw. You can you can go to bed, put your Manly Stanley up on your headboard. It'll suck to it with magnets. It'll get sucked dry with magnet. And then you have a really long straw. You don't, 
if you wake up in the middle of the night with a dry mouth, you have to sit all the way up, drink out of the cup that's been sitting next to your bed yeah. that you almost mm-hmm. knock over every two nights. Can you um, make yourself a gerbil water bottle? Dude, <laughs> yes. No, but you yes. haven't wished for that. It's the middle of the night, and you go, I have to literally posture up with one arm and just go. And you got to make that <laughs> gross water drinking sound in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. And, then the, and then your wife wakes up and goes, is the cat throwing up? And you go, no, it's me drinking water. <laughs> yeah. So it's a water bottle hangs above your bed, and you can just lay there, toss that long straw right in your mouth, slurp it a couple times, let go of it, automatically zips right back up to the Stanley. Dude, can you imagine that when you're kind of like, even if you're kind of getting after it too, and you just need a little water break, just throw it back sure. You're up talking there, about like, having sex. Yeah, dude. You kind of get nasty a little bit. You need a little break. And yeah. I don't think, because uh, unca- there's nothing less attractive when you take a big drink of water and water kind of spills off your beard and your mustache. And you're just like, that was a lot mm-hmm. versus, you know, you're kind of just like real quick, grab a rip. Like you're doing an oxygen tank after a kick return and then just put it back and get back to work. Yeah, I, I was having sex and my mouth got dry and all I got was this t-shirt and a water bottle that <laughs> magnetizes above my bed. <laughs> Nate, don't fucking shoehorn it in. Can I can I also say this? While while I love the name Manly Stanley, it feels a little repetitive. Why not just the Manly? Yeah, that makes more sense. And I think Stanley Wait, you're like, is you're like, I, Women have the Stanley. Well, we have the manly Stanley. I'm like, well, that's a little <laughs> redundant. <laughs> okay. I guess all of our business ideas, or all of Matt's business ideas, are just a woman's product for men. So I was kind of going on that. But, I mean, I guess this could that's go for anybody. Good. This could yeah, go for anybody. For women almost, drink at night, too. I almost too. think the, the water bottle aspect of it does not add to it. Like you should just like get a retractable straw that you can like to a sink and pipe straight to the headboard. But I'm thinking it's something that you can you can take off the headboard and use as a normal cup as well, just throughout the day, like a normal mug. Yeah. And like if um, you're feeding and you don't want to lift your mug, you just pull your straw to your face for sure. Now, how about a water bottle? You get a water bottle for your wife that fills itself before bed, so you don't have to get in bed and get comfy, and then they ask you to fill it. How about do you have one of those? No. Hmm. That's maybe another idea. Where it gets it gets like Thor's hammer if it's if it's empty. Like it becomes very, very heavy somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so that it's uncomfortable to carry it until you fill it with water. Fill your water bottle. Um <laughs> Nate, I'm gonna tell you what, the manly though, the straw and the attachment to the bed and all of it, you've got me in as an investor and customer. We're just, you know, this is what happens in a think tank. We just pitched ideas and angles at you. You know what? Maybe we ditch the cup manufacturing altogether because everybody has – all these women have Stanleys. Maybe we just become like a Stanley attachment company, the headboard magnet, the extra Stanley long G- straw, Mm-mm. like giblets or whatever the, the Crocs things are. It's it's an extension of our functional giblets brand. Uh-huh. I like I like this better. We're just a, a Stanley attachments company. Dude, that sounds like something that would make Little Stanleys. Chance. Little well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we pivot crazily here, this is this is all I gotta say. From a guy who's deterred his wife from buying a forty-five dollars Stanley, I am multiple times. By the way, I am all for this product. I love the magnet attachment. I want to slap that sucker on top of my car, forget about it, and then arrive at work with it still there. <laughs> Drink the straw through the top of the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, guess no, I, think, I think this is great we go we go half the price and and from a guy that could integrate it with other products like need a guy dude juice you know stuff like that this is great the manly is in you've got me in pretty much any version you pitch on this nate but the straw is what's selling me you know what, mm-hmm. what you choose to do besides the gerbil straw is really none of my business the headboard magnet is huge i yeah. do love that but at the same point if i had a straw that reached that's kind of nice itself for sure i i wake up once a night to drink water at least i wake up my mouth's dry that's insane this would this would cut down this would give me like over a year this would give me probably an extra two days of sleep <laughs> that's huge that's huge and just the peace of mind of knowing you don't have to sit up dude just and getting posture. ice cold water out of that stanley because i drink out of a quick trip jug dude and that that is piss warm mm-hmm. that's Catch that in the middle of night insane. yeah well it's not dude because everybody drinks these 21 ounce water bottles. You got to have a little bit of volume, dude. You know, what are you gonna, how are you going to hit your hundred ounces of water a day? If you're not drinking out of a hundred ounce container, fill you, it up twice. You fill it up three times. 
Oh, yeah? How many times do you get up and go to the sink at night? All the time. I go to the water cooler like a G with my insulated bottle. All right. Whatever. I'm just saying from a work from home guy, dude, I like to be I like to be locked in. I'm in my own hamster cage. Dude, whoa, that's actually whoa, whoa. Nate, it's ironic that you suggest this because I actually I today I referred to my office as the hamster cage because a big ro- relocation for me is to go from my office chair to the couch. Like that's a big move for me. <laughs> so to have a little like gerbil straw, like, oh my God. If you get me a piss straw next and that leads all the way to the toilet from my office, I might never leave my chair again. No need to leave your chair. We just cover your floor with sawdust or little uh, hay 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 things. <laughs> Hey pellets. <laughs> yeah, hay pellets or hay. <laughs> a little wheel in the back for me to run on. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking a walking treadmill. A, de- a desk hey, uh, treadmill. Hey, I Lucy, a next time you're at the store, can you grab uh, some more of those like uh those fuel pellets I really like? <laughs> those energy pellets. <laughs> energy pills. Gross, dude. Nate, I'm in as an investor and a customer. Matt Harley, what are you, are you guys in? I'm, I'm dude, in you know I'm in. In investor, I'm gonna I'm in as a customer. I want to show off my manly, yeah. uh, Harley, Stanley, wherever. I, I said I said investor. I'm in. Hell yeah, good to have you on board, Nate. Well done. Thank you guys. All right, dude. We did this podcast, and all we're getting is a stupid T-shirt. Let's do some closing thoughts. Let's <laughs> let's around the table. Let's wrap this baby up, Matt. Closing thoughts. Boy, oh boy, I'm glad I could slip in here for, for a second. Was up at 4 o'clock. Your boy's gassed. Um, buy all of our shirts. We have about 73 of them on our store right now. And, uh, you know, if life gives you a baked potato, listen to jazz. <laughs> Make a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. If I made this, I made a niche reference and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good job, Matt. Uh, Harley, final thoughts. Speaking of gas, get your sleep studies done. Sleep is the most important thing out there. Um, so get your sleep studies. Find out how many episodes you have. Is it as many as the Tuesday Ketchup has? We're coming up on 200. So keep tuning in. We got we got good things ahead this summer. Thanks for listening. Me, schizophrenics, having episodes in our sleep. <laughs> I Nate, final thoughts. What's up, shitheads? This is Nate from Nathan Nation. I went to a potato and jazz bar, and all I got was this t-shirt and some (laughs) jazz and a potato. Uh, (laughs) Buy our t-shirts. Oh, uh, episode 200. We're going to have the final sector, the final um, part of Worms 2079, The Reckoning. So last time we left off on a cliffhanger, the military was coming in for backup. And now we'll have the final, the final bit of the the movie, and we'll have Jake back, guaranteed. Love it! Wow, what a guarantee! Next Tuesday, we'll also force Gills to come back on the pod for episode two hundred. Yeah, neither of those two have a compete clause with us. We should, ladies and gentlemen, (laughs) ladies and gentlemen. My final thoughts: subscribe to the Patreon, subscribe to YouTube. Episode two hundred is coming. Merch is going to be dropping. Covered in jazz t-shirts are coming to the store. (laughs) 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 This is where the dudes, they catch up here all caught up. One, two, three.